You're watching Plant Identification Through Personal Investigation with Angela Whitmire. This plant portrait is for common chickweed, Stellaria media. When outdoor temperatures turn cooler in the fall, and while most plants are preparing for the winter season, common chickweed appears. At first, it's a small green plant, which is hardly noticeable since it grows low to the ground. The youngest leaves on a new plant are ovate, or sometimes round in shape. The leaf margins are entire, very smooth. A single vein is noticeable through the center of the leaf. Each leaf has a petiole, a leaf stalk. As the plant grows, common chickweed begins to spread, outwards and upwards. The leaves grow opposite each other along the stem. When we look closely at the growing tip, we can see the opposite leaves, almost like two hands cupped together and opening outwards as the new pair of leaves develop. Other things to notice about the more mature leaves include the leaf shape, it's still ovate. The leaf margin is still entire, only now it's beginning to look wavy. And the central vein now has some additional veins visibly branching from it. This is an example of pinnate venation. And the leaf tip has a bit of a point to it. The underside of the leaf is smooth and a lighter shade of green. The veins are not as visible on the underside. Let's look at the growing tip again. Notice the hairs along the edge of the leaf petiole and along the stem. One of the key identifiers for common chickweed is the pattern of hairs along the stem. There is a single line of hairs between each node, each pair of leaves. The location of the hairs around the stem circumference changes from one node to the next. It's like the hairs spiral along the stem remaining fairly straight in one direction between each pair of leaf nodes, then switching to a new position around the stem circumference for the length of the next internode. Common chickweed stems are round, an important characteristic to separate it from other possibly toxic plants, with that single line of hairs along the stem. Here's another stem characteristic, which is a lot of fun when playing with common chickweed. Gently pull along the stem's length. As you pull, watch how the outer stem stretches, then separates and reveals an inner stem core. The stretchiness of the stem and the inner core are key identification characteristics. Common chickweed is a sprawling type of plant. Although some of its stronger stems will stretch upwards, more of the growth is outwards. Here are some examples of common chickweed plants. The plant might be lush with lots of stems growing from the central root system. Or it might be more scrawny and straggly with few stems spreading from the center. Since common chickweed thrives in cooler weather, it will survive the winter season, either under a snow cover or by producing smaller, tighter leaves which look shriveled when exposed to cold temperatures. Some of the older leaf edges may turn brown. When the cool temperatures of spring arrive, common chickweed puts on healthy new growth. It begins developing new stem lengths from leaf axles along the initial stems. And it develops flower buds in clusters at the end of the plant's stem. Each flower bud develops at the end of a peduncle, the flower stalk. Both the peduncle and the sepals are covered with fine hairs. When the sun shines, the flower begins to gradually open until the full flower can be seen with its reproductive parts. In this photo, we can see the tip of a stigma peeking from the opening bud. Let's look more closely at these flowers, which are very small, about one quarter inch or five millimeters across. It helps to use a magnifying glass or a 10x lens to see this beautiful flower. As the common chickweed flower opens, it reveals the white petals, the central green pistil topped with three white stigmas, 
and the pink anthers at the top of the stamens. When the flower is fully open, the anthers release golden pollen. I invite you to count the white petals. How many do you see? Most of us would count 10 of them. However, common chickweed actually has only five petals. Each petal is so deeply cleft or cut down toward the center of the flower that it looks like two petals. I wonder if we can see those five petals any better if we cut apart a single flower. Oh, look! A single petal which is deeply cleft, with the two white parts still attached at the bottom as a single petal. And here's the other portion of the cut flower, with two and a half petals, along with most of the green pistil with its three white stigmas. Looking at the underside of the flower, the five sepals show their fine hairs. Here's a flower dying back after having bloomed. Even as new flowers continue blooming, other parts of the common chickweed are dying. Older leaves turn brown at the edges. The stem's outer skin flakes off and the stem may become translucent. When you handle the plant, you will notice the older portion of the translucent stem breaks easily and feels slippery, especially when the plant is wet from rain or dew. Remember how the plant develops new stems at older leaf axils? In these images, we can see that process, along with the beginning stages of dieback as lower leaves turn brown and then translucent. When temperatures rise so that it feels hot outside, common chickweed dies back to a mass of brown plant material, filled with tiny seeds for the next self-planting season. Depending on the region where common chickweed grows, it may thrive from fall through spring. Or, if the region has extremely cold weather, you will find this plant during the cool season of late spring through early fall. Many people, including myself in prior years, view this plant as a terrible weed because it's always around and always growing where it's not wanted. I now recognize it as a delicious edible and I enjoy harvesting it for salads and especially for chickweed pesto. This is Angeline. Thank you for watching and learning about Stellaria media, also known as common chickweed. Visit identifythatplant.com for more images of common chickweed, for a comparison of this plant with other types of chickweed, for plant identification resources, and for information about how you can confidently master the skill of correct plant identification.